servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. My brothers, count it all in joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith works your patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect entirely, wanting nothing. And if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and hold back nothing, and it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brothers of low degree rejoice that he is exalted, but the rich man that he is made low. Because as of the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen from the burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flowers thereof fall, and the grace in this fashion will perish. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted that I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither does he tempt any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away in his own lust and enticed. Then when the lust hath conceived, it brings forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, brings forth his death. Do not be dismayed, my brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom is no veritable, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begot us the word of truth, that we should be the kind of first fruits of his creation. Wherefore, my beloved brothers, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness, superfluity, naughtiness, and receive with meekness and grafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be you doers of the word, and not hearers only deceiving your own selves. For if anyone be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, straightway forgetting what kind of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in all his deeds. And if any man among you seems to be religious and holds not his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this man's religion is in vain pure religion and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. My brothers, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of all persons. For if there come into your assembly a man with a gold ring in goodly apparel, and there come in a poor man in vile raiment, and you have respect to him that wears the nice clothes and says, sit here in this good place, and to the poor, stand there or on the floor. Are you not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brothers, hath not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? But you have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not they blaspheme the worthy name which you are called? If you fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You will do well. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin and you are convinced of the law as transgressors, 
For whosoever shall keep the law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, do not commit adultery, said also, do not kill. Now you commit no adultery, yet you kill. You have become a transgressor of the law. So speak you, and so do also, as they shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy to those who have shown no mercy. What doeth it profit, my brothers, that a man say he has faith and have not works? Can faith save him? 